Hi, uh, I'm Mark Alvis. Uh, in this talk, I'll present data uh, on observations on Vietic edema and early Chinese loanwords in Vietnamese in the domain of function words. These images here uh, of archaeological artifacts from northern Vietnam, including this uh, Dam Sun bronze drum and uh, Han Dynasty model home, visually represent the sociocultural before and after uh, of Sinitic Vietic language contact in northern Vietnam that I'm considering. However, in contrast with material culture, grammatical vocabulary obviously attests to aspects of intangible culture that archaeolo uh, archaeologically cannot be portrayed directly. Now, in the assumed chronology from Austroasiatic to modern uh, Vietnamese, uh, I'm focusing on the period from the Austroasiatic dispersal uh, to the development of Vietic as a distinct speech community, to later Vietic, and probable contact with Dai, uh, and even small-scale contact with Sinitic, as hinted by, uh, by some archaeological data. Then in the after stage, I focus on the early period of Sinitic Vietic language contact, pretty much the first several centuries of the first millennium CE. I'm not dealing with Viet Mung uh, and, uh, oops, I'm not dealing with Viet Mung from the later period of what is called uh, Sino-Vietnamese vocabulary proper uh, or late Middle Chinese. Uh, I'm focusing instead on what I assume to be a pre-Viet Mung period, but the period of sociocultural language contact, which did ultimately lead to Viet Mung as a distinct sub-branch of Vietic in the early second millennium. So the key questions are, of grammatical vocabulary in Vietnamese, what words are native et uh, Vietic etima? Uh, and what Chinese loanwords in Vietnamese from this early period of Sinitic Vietic contact, again, before the Viet Minh stage, are grammatical. Now, several words underwent grammaticalization in later periods in Vietnamese or Viet Minh. Uh, this includes both native and borrowed words, but it seems the most were grammatical in an early period, as I'll show. Uh, finally, what do the characteristics of these two strata of grammatical vocabulary indicate about Vietic and Vietnamese language history in this early period. And I'll mention some aspects during the talk uh, and summarize the situation at the end. Uh, as for lexical data, uh, the lexical data for this early period include function words, several dozen reconstructed Vietic etima from Ferluce's reconstructions and some of my own tentative proposals marked with hashtag. Several dozen proposed early Chinese uh, grammatical loan words uh, in Vietnamese, some in Mung, a smaller number in other Vietic languages, from numerous publications and my own publications and proposals. As for the methods of evaluation, uh, of course, we check for phonological patterns, compare them with uh, other Austroasiatic languages, uh, sometimes die as well. I, I've studied uh, diagrammatical uh, loanwords, Chinese loanwords in that domain, and checked against uh, available early Chinese texts and dictionaries of archaic Chinese, but this is still uh, in process. Now there are caveats uh, and the proposed, the certainty of proposed Vietic edema and proposed early Sinitic loanwords ranges variously from medium to high. So not never 100%. Some supposed later Sino-Vietnamese words may be retentions from an earlier period. That is, there could be more early Chinese loanwords, but these are masked uh, because they're considered Chinese character readings. Uh, but um, this is something for later study. Later regional uh, spread of words, uh, chance similarities and alternative explanations can never be entirely ruled out. Of course, that's always the case. Uh, not every instance of grammaticalization of the words have been proven with total certainty to the date uh, and uh, to the period in question. So uh, nevertheless, the weight of evidence is substantive enough to uh, broadly support conclusions in this talk, uh, regardless of possible refutations of some words. And indeed, uh, there we still want to exclude things. Help with excluding possibilities is quite welcome uh, from uh, viewers. So in this table showing categories and quantities of grammatical words, I have highlighted stronger tendencies in green. Vietic etima are dominant in the categories of pronouns and interrogative terms, numbers and quantity expressions, uh, and locational words. Uh, core time words are dominant in Vietic etima 
but early Chinese loan words are dominant in specialized concepts of time, as I will present. Uh, early Chinese loan words in Vietnamese are quite dominant in the categories of measure words, conjunctive words, comparative terms, and modals or preverbs, as you can see by these numbers. Uh, tendencies in the categories generally match those of studies of loanword tendencies. And uh, for perspective, I've per, uh, referred to the uh, world, uh, uh, I'm sorry, let me move this here, the uh, world uh, loanword database of the Max Planck Institute. Uh, it provides borrowability rates based on a modest number of 41 languages, but a wide geographical range of languages, varying language situations. Uh, in this table, the borrowability rates for personal pronouns, uh, interrogative terms, uh, and demonstrative words are extremely low compared to other semantic categories, this 0 0.7 uh, or lower, which marks it as fairly basic vocabulary, or at least very low uh, rates of borrowing among languages in the study. As I will show, these categories are precisely the types of uh, retained in Vietnamese from Vietic, and were not borrowed from Sinitic. I've checked these borrowability rates for various subcategories in the study, but I will not cover these during the talk uh, to save time. They will be in the subsequent uh, conference proceedings. So pronouns and question words are often less borrowed. Thus, they are commonly included in lists of basic vocabulary, and such words are precisely native Vietic etima, the PV column in this table, and in some cases, Austroasiatic etima, the PAA column. These are true pronouns uh, with uh, specific person reference for a second, third person, not the more commonly used socially conditioned Vietnamese reference terms, uh, a number of which are uh, early Chinese loan words. And in the table, I've included some central Vietnamese dialect forms, which are Vietic retentions, but they are not in Northern or Southern Vietnamese varieties, which have other words of uncertain or, uh, origins. Crucially, no Chinese pronoun loan words from this category uh, have been identified. Numerals similarly are known for being useful indicators of linguistic affiliation. Uh, and uh, though they can be borrowed, uh, have borrowability rates of, of uh, 0 0.2, over 0 0.2, that's co considerably higher than 0 0.07. In Vietnamese and Vietic in general, the core numeral system is entirely native. This is in contrast with Dai, whose original number system from 2 to 99 was replaced lexically by the Chinese one. Uh, some quantity expressions can also be reconstructed to the Vietic stage. Instead of numerals, uh, Chinese early Chinese loanwords in Vietnamese in this domain include general quantity expressions. I've checked many of the posited Chinese loanwords for their functions in uh, early Chinese texts, but this task is still in progress. Uh, uh, nevertheless, the phonology and semantics uh, all suggest these, that these are valid uh, uh, loanwords. As for specific numerals from Chinese, they all have very restricted usage in Vietnamese. Basically, they're ling lexical compounds or rather obsolete. In contrast to numeral, the quantity terms here are, uh, are core grammatical words of Vietnamese. I've included in some of these tables the relevant Mung data from the Mung Bi uh, dialect. Uh, such data supports the idea that early Chinese loanwords did enter at an early stage. Okay, the uh, reconstructed uh, Vietic measure terms consist of a small number uh, with rather limited usage, I, I think uh, we can say. We cannot consider these core function words. Uh, nevertheless, they date back to Vietic. On the other hand, early Chinese loanwords in this category are admittedly numerous. There are two slides of uh, lists in this presentation. Uh, now, Vietnamese gai uh, is uh, particularly important as the default classifier. It is also the default uh, classifier in varieties of Chinese and even some Dai languages. Among these uh, measure words are architectural measure words and full classifiers. Uh, it is important to note that evidence for Chinese classifiers as a distinct lexical class, the grammaticalization of them has been hypothesized to be in the late first millennium, kind of close to the end of the early Chinese loanword period. Uh, but general measure words were obviously borrowed regardless of the stage of grammaticalization of a full-fledged uh, full fledged classifier system. Okay, uh, of other measure words are for trade terms, uh, trade-related or 
generic terms. Uh, clearly, within the first several centuries, language contact with Sinaitic expanded the number and variety of measure terms in Northern Vietic. As I have published, this sort of borrowing appears to have led to the pre-nominal position uh, of quantity plus measure word constituents in contrast to otherwise post-nominal modifiers and Vietnamese noun phrases uh, and the region in general. Uh, this borrowing appears to have included several Chinese quantifiers, uh, but as I noted, uh, native numerals uh, in Vietic were, from Vietic were retained, and so apparently they moved up front as well. Uh, however, I think this structural shift was only completed in Vietnamese uh, in the early second millennium, as uh, early Vietnamese writings show some variable order, and so maybe even later. The Vietic system of locational terms is largely native in origin. This list includes an archaic obsolete term for left and a dialectal item for far, but all other basic locational terms from Vietic are in uh, all mainstream varieties of Vietnamese. There are even a few Austroasiatic etima. Uh, there are fewer early Chinese loanwords in this domain, but those that were borrowed are significant. The borrowing of side, uh, outside, and from demonstrate that there was some modification to the Viet Minh system of locative terms. The term side uh, is, uh, is widespread enough that it is reconstructable in Vietic, uh, though how old it is in other varieties is as yet undetermined. It could be a more recent loanword from Vietnamese to be determined. The core time words uh, in Vietnamese all stem to Vietic, including units of time, uh, day, month, year, there, ngai thang nam, and uh, parts of the day, morning, noon, and night, uh, some time adverbials. Uh, the words day and year are even proto Austroasiatic etima, uh, very deep history. The time adverbials appear grammaticalized from non-grammaticalized words. For example, the word uh, for about to, sap, uh, is likely grammaticalized from the sense ready or prepared. Uh, it does appear originally, it does not appear to be originally grammatical, a grammatical word in Austroasiatic, and these details require checking in historical texts. Uh, as for early Chinese loanwords in this category, uh, a dozen time adverbials here and units of time were borrowed in this early period. I have checked dictionaries of archaic Chinese words, but the exact timing of the grammaticalization of these will require more careful sifting of Chinese and his Vietnamese historical texts. Still, the semantics and phonology in most cases, cases match reasonably well. Um, a notable cultural category of time words is the, uh, the Chinese calendar term, the zodiac system, including the very important term, uh, Lunar New Year, Tet. Uh, these are gaps in this list, but it is nevertheless a large number. Uh, this suggests that the Chinese calendar became adopted by some Vietic groups in the region uh, in this early period, potentially the first few centuries, something uh, that is of interest, of course to ethno-historians. Uh, now, the next few categories of conjunctive terms, comparative words, and preverbial elements all have sizable numbers of early Chinese loanwords, but few uh, reconstructable Vietic terms. In the category of conjunctive words, only one Vietic term is reconstructable there, or hi. Uh, in contrast, several early Chinese loanwords are in this category. Uh, and with kum, uh, and also kum, our early doublets as suggested by their different tones. I've published on this triplet set, kum uh, kum kum, as well as uh, ancient Chinese and Vietnamese textual data in support of this uh, claim. For the possessive marker kua, if this turns out to be an early Chinese word, if, uh, and I leave this matter open for now, uh, it is an instance of later grammaticalization patterning with languages in the Southeast Asian region uh, such as Thai uh, Kong and uh, Khmer Raboh, which similarly show the path, uh, path of, of thing possession to possessive marker. As for comparative terms, the core uh, Vietnamese comparative term hun uh, more than fits in uh, into the regional surpass typological pattern in the region. It is uh, surpass as a, as a typological pattern there. Uh, it is a probable grammaticalized form of an Austroasiatic word meaning to grow or to increase. 
So again, we have to check the history and see when it developed. However, uh, several comparative Chinese terms were apparently borrowed in an early period. Not a construction like the Vietnamese one, but uh, still uh, comparative, have, uh, having senses of comparison. Almost all of these have textual evidence uh, uh, of these senses in, er, in early Chinese texts. However, Vietnamese bang, the last one there, meaning equal, um, equal to, uh, appears to be an innovation in Vietnamese, uh, dating the timing of this development will require investigation in, in gnome writings. We didn't mean to do gnome writings. Um, finally, in the category of preverbal and modal terms, uh, only central Vietnamese has retained a reconstructable uh, Viet Vietic negation word, uh, na, in central Vietnamese. Um, attestations for this word are only in Viet Mung and Phong Cui, not the archaic lect. So it has a sh somewhat shorter history in, in Vietic. Among the proposed early Chinese loan words, uh, some seem solid, such as uh, if, za, and uh, the archaic obsolete, not no longer in use, tu. The others will require more investigation in historical texts to affirm or refute their status as early Chinese loan words. So uh, let's uh, look here. Core Vietic, with the retention of core. Uh, native grammatical lexemes, including pronouns, numerals, locative term, terms, and others. This is important. This is what we expect. And uh, this is uh, uh, definitely Vietnamese is, is a Vietic language. However, with some substantial synitic em embellishments, uh, borrowing of, of synitic words would likely impact on, for example, noun phrase structure uh, through the borrowing of quantity and measure words and added marking of clausal uh, semantico-syntactic relationships, TAM, conjunctives, comparatives, etc. Uh, we're looking at a situation of early bilingualism. Such grammatical lexical borrowing strongly supports a scenario of Sinitic Vietic bilingualism in the pre-Proto-Viet uh, Mung community. And uh, lastly, uh, the structural changes happened really in later periods. Despite the borrowing of Chinese grammatical morphs in this early period, a large quantity of native grammatical morphs are retained and major uh, typological changes in Vietnamese and thus Viet Mung more broadly uh, occurred in centuries uh, later in the early uh, second millennium. And so I hope that this uh, information uh, helps to give food for thought about that early period of Sinitic Vietic uh, language contact in the in the first millennium, uh, and how far we, with the extent to which we can consider this uh, to be significant uh, impact. It is not just superficial, uh, but uh, 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 that stage of Vietic was uh, transitional uh, prior to the uh, Viet Mung stage. So, uh, thank you for your time. <laughs>